All right, we're going to do uh, the pull test number three. Um, we come across the other slope of the roof. No, on these roofs, on this type of roof, or any corrugated metal roof, walk in the pans. Keep your feet in the pans. You step on these ribs, and eventually you're going to get a kink, a kink rib <laughs> like this right here. Get a little kink. You don't want that because that's going to compromise the, the uh, kind of the structure of this roof. So anyway, a little tip. Okay, let's put our screw in the center of this pan. Again, we're going on some uh, we're going on some good solid uh, galvalum here that has no rust on it. You'll be surprised to see what type of pullout value we get here since the last one was uh, was uh, quite a bit lower than the first one. We had 360 on the first one, 220 on this one. Correctly, dial our gauge back into zero and start the test here. ready to pull where it's ready to pop. You want to just give a good steady turn instead of a real quick turn, you get a better reading. Um, okay, this one looks like it's, it's pulled out at about 300 pounds, which is which is, is good. That's good. Uh, by the first one went at 300, uh, 360, I don't know, but we're going to get this one. 300 pounds, and that's number three. Okay. I think we'll do the next one we do, we're going to do on another rusted area to kind of get an idea if we think that we're uh, compromised when we're uh, uh, on the rust, rusted area for rust. Uh, it, makes sense that the, uh, it makes sense that the metal wouldn't uh, be as strong on the rusted areas as it would on the, um, uh, the good galvanized galvalume areas, so uh, we'll kind of get an idea and see what, uh, what we get. But, uh, we're, uh, we'll go to uh, test number four.